Senator Keneally. Senator Hume. My question is for the Minister for Indigenous Affairs, Senator Scullion. Given, Senator Scullion, that it is National Science Week this week, could the minister please advise what the coalition government is doing to support more Indigenous Australians into the STEM industries, the sciences, technology, engineering and mathematics, and of course the industries of the future, and particularly for Indigenous women? The Minister for Indigenous Affairs, Senator Scullion. Uh, thank you, uh, uh, Mr President, and I thank the senator for the question. Can I say how fantastic it is to receive a question about our new investments in STEM this week during National Science Week. Science is technology, engineering and math, more commonly known as STEM, are clearly, Mr President, the careers of the future. Very proud to be part of a government that has made innovation in science its top priority. So we're all benefiting from a $1.1 billion national innovation and science agenda, but personally because we are trying to close a 200-year-old gap in a few short years so we can get more people off the misery of welfare and into the dignity of work, Mr President. Uh, we are making targeted investments in our first Australians through the Indigenous Advancement Strategy. On the 50th anniversary of the 1967 referendum last year, the Prime Minister announced a 138 million Indigenous education package, and as part of that investment we recently announced a $25 million Indigenous Girls STEM Academy to make sure that Indigenous uh, girls and women who have an interest in STEM can make a career in what has traditionally been a dominated, male-dominated area. The Girls STEM Academy will support Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander women pursue careers in STEM. The Academy is a $25 million long-term investment from the Indigenous Advancement Strategy to guide over 1,000 um, girls and young women through high school, support them through university and in, into a job in the STEM profession. The Academy, a joint partnership between CSIRO and Career Trackers, will nurture a passion for STEM and support Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander girls and young women with things like ongoing individual student support, summer school and, importantly, work placement with industry leaders. As part of this, we're investing $5 million in Stronger Smarter Institute for scholarships to support more Indigenous STEM teachers. We know more Indigenous STEM teachers. That means more Indigenous STEM Order, students Senator we will Scalia. encourage. Senator Hume, supplementary question. Thank you, Mr President. I thank the minister for his answer. That is indeed uh, very encouraging. Could the minister further explain what opportunities a career in STEM offers, particularly for Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander Australians? Senator Scullion. Uh, thank you, Senator. Uh, innovation underpinned by STEM skills are going to be the driving force for Australia's continued prosperity, conti creating new and exciting career opportunities in the coming decades. Mr President, there are jobs that will be created in fields and industries that we haven't dreamt of yet. Skill sets that are STEM skill sets will open doors to these innovative Australian opportunities. When I launched this great new initiative, I had the great honour of meeting a uh, Gomeroy woman, uh, astrophysicist Carly Noon. She's not only a trailblazer and fact an incredibly inspiring and accomplished scientist in her own right, but also a champion for all Indigenous women in science. And she said at the launch of this new STEM Academy, having someone in my corner to guide me when I was unsure of my path gave me the strength to continue my studies and to believe in myself. That's exactly what this government is doing, Mr President. Our 25 million STEM investment will mean many more Indigenous women Order. can follow Senator in Carly's Scullion. footsteps. Senator Hume, final supplementary question. Thank you, Mr. President. Senator Cameron. Could the minister explain what other investments the coalition government is making in Indigenous education through the Indigenous Advancement Strategy? S Senator, Senator Cameron, Senator Scullion. Advancement Strategy. Uh, we're investing in a five billion dollar. Uh, commitment to deliver locally led, locally designed, locally controlled services primarily through Indigenous owned and run organisations and communities across Australia. Our investments are ensuring that children are attending school, adults are in work and communities are safe. This is ensuring record numbers of our first Australians can access world class education. Mr. President. We've invested more than $400 million for 25,000 Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander students to stay engaged in school and receive training. Indigenous students are taking on higher education through the $68 million Indigenous Student Success Program, another 18,000 Indigenous students assisted through scholarships, 
tutorial assistance, mentoring and other support services. And we're able to make these important investments because this government has brought the budget back under control and now we can actually Order. invest Senator in things Scully that are important